materials you will need are scissors or tweezers, split ring pliers, your lures, beads, fluorocarbon line between 10 and 20 pound, treble hooks, J hooks, and barrel swivels. Hello, Tim Peasy here with Peasy Tackle and Fishing Adventures in Fin Wing Spoons. I have uh, shown many videos uh, catching fish on the fin wing spoons, usually using crawler harnesses, but I have never uh, posted a video or a how-to on how to build one. So I'll do that today. So first you need some fluorocarbon, anywhere from 10 to 20. You get into uh, over 20, it's sometimes difficult to keep the knots tied. Treble hooks, anywhere from uh, size 8, as you see I have multiple sizes here, up to size 4, we'll grab a 6, just for this video purpose. Simply put the line through the eye, lay it back down by the treble, wrap it 8 or 10 times, starting from the eye, working your way down the shank, hopefully that shows up, not overlapping, a nice, clean, 8 or so wraps. Simply uh, pull the tag end back through the eye. Get it slightly, slightly snug. Wet it a little. Pull it taut. Slide the knot upward. And hopefully that shows up. You have your bottom snell knot. Uh, I always add a single hook further up. Something like this uh, number six J hook, mosquito hooks, um, eagle claw, needle points, etc. Use your own uh, judgment on that. Feed the line through the back end of the eye. Slide the J hook down. I uh, prefer, and it seems to work out for threading the night crawlers on, three fingers between the hooks. You essentially do the same knot on uh, the J hook. Because of the eye here, I'm having a little trouble getting started. With the stiffer 20 pound line. So once you start a wrap, do the same thing, six or eight wraps towards the hook side, not overlapping, and again simply thread it back through the eye. A little moisture there, pull it taut, your snell is ready. Um, I prefer to run similar colors to uh, the actual spoon. So I'm going to do a purple leopard pattern here just because I got one handy. I don't use a lot of beads, uh, two to four. And if you use glass beads, you're going to need to go less. Uh, they're too heavy and they kill the action of the spoon. So we're going to go with a purple as soon as I can find the hole in the bead. Followed by a chartreuse. I'll show you the color if you're not familiar with the purple leopard fin wing of uh, why I'm going this. I have better luck when I use uh, similar color patterns to uh, the spoons but you guys certainly know your water better and what the fish will react to. I'm going to go with four. I generally alternate and put multiple colors on. Um, sometimes just a straight up ruby red works really well um, for me on the snells. And there's your beads. Little color attractor complete. Um, a barrel swivel. Size isn't that critical. Um, 
just so they're easy enough to handle. They don't need to be huge and buy the best you can afford. So you just slide it up as close as you can to the beads. Uh, I just use a clinch knot. You can probably do any knot you prefer um, that you, whatever your favorite is, to get to the barrel swivel. And then run it back through the open end of the loop by the barrel eye of the barrel swivel. And again, always moisten your knots a bit. Slide it up, pull it taut. There's your crawler hauler, at least that's what I like to call them. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as doing spinners, except for shorter. Here's a fin wing purple leopard for you. And as you can see, the color pattern, similar. Um, I can do this in uh, one loop. Uh, what I mean is uh, getting the split ring off and the barrel swivel on. So I use my fingernails. Um, I have snap ring pliers here on the table, as you see. Get it open a little bit, put your barrel swivel in that uh, end of the split ring that's open, and simply, uh, then I simply hold it, spin the barrel, spin the split ring around, it'll then uh, take the uh, treble hook off. As you rotate, there it's off. Finish a little bit. And there, the crawler hauler, snell, harness, whatever you prefer to call it, is ready to go. If you have questions or would like to order some thin wing spoons, visit pz-tackle.com. And as you see, my phone and email is showing.